So, if you've always wanted to create organic bridges, or probably you like to punch a hole through your 3D model, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Scope Bridge tool from the folks at Node Interactive. So, how does this work, and what does it do exactly? So, how this works is super simple, because this tool is totally free, so you can go ahead and download it and explore alongside. So, the first things you need to do is either you go over to your edit, go over to preference and load this within your asset library, or you can click and drag and drop and open this right inside of Blender. So once you do that, one thing you would notice is this now leaves rent free in your asset library. So in this case, you always have it within your asset library. And this is best from the whole idea that Blender now allows you to create tools that you can use within your edit mode or within your scope mode. And for those who have no idea how this works, we've already covered a full video about it and how you can categorize this and make them look good. And for this tool, how it works is very, very simple. So what we're going to do here is just bring out our favorite character, Suzanne. I'm just gonna subdivide her about that much. Let's make sure it's auto smooth. Go right here, apply that, and we're going to jump into sculpting. So once we get into sculpting, because this tool currently exists, you would see that here. And for you to work with this is very simple. All you need to do once you're within your sculpt mode is to go all the way down and pick up the draw face set tool. With the draw face set tool, you just simply need to draw a face set one and draw another face set. And then you can click and say punch hole. And once you do that, you've got a hole. And the slime bridge idea from ZBrush seems to be dialed up a notch with this tool. So what I mean by that is this, that if I do have a selection there and another selection here, I can click on this button and do a simple bridge. And with the bridge tool, because this is fully procedural, unlike what we have with ZBrush, you have a lot of options. So we can do some gravity stuff. Okay, that looks good. You can also play with the gravity direction. So if you like the gravity to go backwards, forward, however you want, you can do that. You can also increase the subdivision level. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on our wireframe so you guys can see that. So we can increase the subdivision level, we can drop that subdivision level all the way down. This is looking pretty. We can also have this selection here and have this selection there click right here and do a simple bridge again and just simply go to town with it. One thing which I would suggest that you do is instead of going back and forth, you can save this within your quick tools. So let's turn that off. So how you put this within the quick tool is simple. All you need to do is click, right click, add to quick favorite, right click, add to quick favorite. And how do you access this bad boy? It's also very simple. So in this case, maybe I want one there and I would like one here. I can tap Q on the keyboard and do a simple bridge. So this way you do have something like that and you can definitely just go to town with it. It's just beautiful what you can now do with this tool. And this is one of those tools that I would suggest that the folks at Blender Foundation just simply adopt and put in just like they did with the VDM brush. So the VDM brush was just one of those tools that wasn't really available then, you know, it became available and finally was implemented in a particular release of Blender. And that is exactly the same thing I would suggest that this should be, especially with Blender 4.1. As Blender 4.1 basically have little to nothing for sculpting, I think creating or adopting Adopting tools like this for the sculpting branch might spice up what Blender 4.1 could offer in a final release. And for those who like to work with symmetry, this is also something that is super available. And of course, I would suggest you go ahead and check this tool out and grab it right now. You can get it for free. So this is it. A huge shout out to the folks at Node Interactive for making this possible. And of course, I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. If you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.